think that he <laughs> decided to go off right when I went live. It's almost time. I think we're all connected. Um, hey, everybody. My name is Wendy. I am from, I'm right now live at C321 Ventates in Hudson, North Carolina. And if you're watching, you're either watching it on my personal page on Facebook or the Ventiques page. Or you could be watching this live on YouTube. I'm streaming in three different locations. I'm hoping that we won't have too much lag since we don't have anything else going on in the building. But this, I'm hoping that we'll be good. Right before the live, I had the hugest like coffin fit ever. So I've got a little piece of candy in my mouth. I'm hoping and I got a drink on standby. So I'm hoping I won't have another one of those. But if you see me like messing around with my mouth, it's because I got candy in my mouth. Um, so yeah, y'all look. Isn't this beautiful? Um, so if you saw the thumbnail that I had posted for this live, um, you saw the before picture. And I'm going to do a whole video on this whole thing of how I did everything. But today we're just going to paint out the base of this. But I'm going to kind of give you some details of what I've done so far. And then we're going to start painting this out. And you guys are going to help me. If you are watching right now live, or if you're watching the replay, please comment and let me know where you're watching from and if you're watching it live or if it's the replay. And again, my name is Wendy and so glad that you're here. If you do me a big favor, I'm watching. If you see me looking this way, it's because I have my laptop. So if you ask me questions, I will see it right here and I can answer you live um, and in charge. <laughs> but... <clears throat> I am the owner of Cottage 321. We used to just be one store right here. And um, last May, I decided to open a second store and I moved all of our fashion, um, that's clothes and shoes and jewelry and all that kind of stuff, to downtown Granite Falls. And now this old location, we have vendors, we have consigners, we have more room for all of our furniture and home decor and DIY projects and stuff like that. So that's what's going on at this place. We do have a few clothes, but it's more vintage and um, curated. Um, there's a few new things that are closed, but not many. It's more of a vintage style. And then <clears throat> you've got antiques, you've got furniture. We've got modern furniture, mid-century modern. We've got antiques like this, and we've got handmade and signs that are made by local vendors and we also have different booths in here that people either make their own pottery make jewelry make signs you name it it's done we have several people that paint furniture just like i do and some of them that is their full-time job i wish that was my full-time job but with two stores it's sometimes hard to get projects in and i kind of am doing this double duty this is actually helping me get some recording time of this is helping me to respond to you guys and it's also promoting our paints and all that kind of stuff and in our business. So if you're here watching me, please do do a like, follow us, um, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. So um, we're just going to get started now. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Farmhouse Paint. Farmhouse Paint has over 52 colors and we stock all of it. We don't have quart sizes and everything, but I can order any of it that, that you like. But the ones that we constantly, um, people use the most, we do keep in stock. And anyway, just to give you an idea, this is all the colors. <laughs> and they're beautiful, and they're all wonderful. But sometimes it's hard to decide what color to paint your piece. And I have struggled with what color I wanted to paint this piece. I have looked at all the different ones, and <clears throat> this piece feels masculine to me, so I'm kind of gravitating to dark colors, and um, I'm kind of getting tired of white furniture, and I love now, I love this natural raw wood, so I want like a cool color to contrast. It, even this original finish, which is really, really dark, looks great with that light color right it's just that contrast i love a contrast so <clears throat> anyway i think i have decided on this is it right here indigo i'll show that to you guys um and let me show it to you up close i think that's going to be a pretty color 
but I am going to use the regular farmhouse paint and not evolution because I do want to kind of distress this. I want some of this old finish to peekaboo out from behind that. So that's why I decided to go with the regular and I'm just, I love the regular. I love evolution, but it's more of a, like you want it to be full coverage and you're not going to be distressing it. And this one, I'm definitely am going to distress a little bit. So <clears throat> I've been wanting, I've, I watch a lot of YouTube, which is, you know, y'all probably didn't know that, <laughs> but um, I've been watching a lot of people using the easy off uh, challenge and stripping furniture with it. And so I had to try it. And I've actually, I stripped these drawers with it. And um, if y'all saw in the beginning, the picture, um, this thing has a mirror that goes on top and I completely took it apart and I have stripped it down. No matter what kind of stripper you use, um, if you decide to use stripping, because I use citrus stripper uh, on that other piece that I did last week, but um, it's always messy, no matter what. And I didn't want to do this whole piece because I knew it would be messy. And I also think it's kind of hard on the wood. So I have to be really picky. If this was, this is solid wood. If it was veneer on these things, I don't think I could have done it because I think that veneer would have peeled up and popped up and split. So you have to be picky with what you use it on. But um, I really love how that turned out. I think the color is gorgeous. Uh, I got to be real careful. I think I'm going to have to do a whitewash over this to tone down the um tones on it because let me show you like this is a damp rag if i put just like some oil or just even clear polyurethane it's going to darken up like that and i want it to stay more like you know this color so uh, i think i'm going to whitewash all of my raw stuff and then do a top coat on, on it but that that might be another video <clears throat> but i'm definitely want to do something with this. I want this to stay raw looking and um, I love this. I'm not sure what type of wood it is. At first I thought it was pine, but now um, it's such a dark color like on the inside too. I don't know. I don't know what it is. If you guys have any ideas, I don't think it's oak. It could be, but usually oak has a little bit more, which this is a little grainy, but it usually has a little bit different of a grain to it. So I'm not real sure what kind of wood it is, but I think it's good wood. So anyway, I, I believe this is a really old piece and we're going to have fun with it. Hey, Tammy, how are you doing, friend? <clears throat> I couldn't stand it. I had to come start painting this piece. I just can't stand it. I'm so excited about this piece. I've been dreaming about it. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, that's, that's the easy off. And I will tell you like, this one is a little bit yellowed out, but I think this was the first drawer that I took out there and stripped and I was very impatient and I didn't wait at least an hour and I took it off and then I put another layer on. And then the next day I did these two and I put one more coat on this one too. And these two, it only took one coat, but this one, I think it made it turn yellow because I think I used too much on it. So I'm going to have to tone that down. But anyway, if you guys are interested in that, I use the heavy duty, there is one with less fumes, but I think that this is the one that's going to strip it a lot better. Um, just make sure you use gloves and stuff. So what I did is I sprayed it on. You need to leave it on for at least an hour. <clears throat> and then I scraped it off. But sometimes it kind of dries. But you basically just, I got a big old bucket of Dawn detergent and water. And I went to town scrubbing all of that off. And then just let it dry in the sun. And I think it looks gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I'll have to do um, a final, it's pretty good, but I can feel that the grain has popped up just a little bit. So I will do a fine sanding on this before I do the last coat on it. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. I push that one all the way in like a dummy. Let's see if I can get it out. <laughs> I might have to lean it forward. And um, guys, this is what, I've already pre-cleaned this piece, cleaned the inside. The back, everything got all the uh, spider eggs from out from underneath, and I used this stuff right here. Um, this is from Farmhouse Paint. It just really helps you before 
It removes dirt, grease, wax, furniture polish, and more. And it's supposed to be really low VOC, but because it's in a spray bottle, just wear a mask when you spray it because it really chokes me up when I use this stuff. I think you need to use a mask when you spray it because it kind of goes airborne and it really bothers my throat for some reason. But try to take these out without tearing the whole place down here. And we're just going to paint. If we have time at the end, um, we will... I'll show you the final project that we did together last week with the desk. And then I might show you another project that Tammy helped me with, some chairs. They're, they're awesome. I'm going to lean this forward and hopefully that will just kind of fall out a little bit there. Come on. There it goes. hold myself in here. I'm surrounded by furniture. Which is, you know, that's me. I love furniture. So again, I'm live at Ventiques. we we'll called see through 2 on Ventiques. And um, anyway, we're going to get started on this piece. I decided on indigo. And I've showed y'all already this color. I think that's going to be really pretty. It, it's kind of like a gray, but it pulls a lot of blue. So I'm kind of excited about it. And it's a lot of fun. So we have these little pamphlets from Farmhouse Paint. I, I think that's pigeon blue. I had said it was indigo, but I think it's pigeon blue. But basically, that is all the colors. And they're beautiful. I love them all. But there's lots of other stuff we have too, like glazes and um, wood stain. We got rain coat, clear coat. We got metallics. You name it, we got it. And <clears throat> it's a cabinet and furniture paint. And it's the original all in one. No primer, no wax, no top coat. Get it up there where y'all can see it. No top coat and um, no wax or anything like that. So it's really cool. I love it. So we're going to get started. I'm going to drink me a little bit of my drink real quick. Um, I hope that y'all can hear me okay. Tammy, is the sound all right? <clears throat> okay, so this is indigo. Um, this is our sample size. It's eight ounces. It's $13.99. <clears throat> And uh, it'll, it'll be more than plenty to do this piece with. This paint goes a really long ways. And just to give you a reference, I'll show you the desk later that I painted. I only painted the base of it, but it, uh, it took half, it only took half of this, maybe even less than that. So maybe four ounces of paint. And um, it just totally transformed it. Let me show this color to you guys up close and personal. It's very pretty. I love it. Very, very pretty. Stick that under there. <clears throat> I'm just going to start on this side. I've already, I told you guys, I pre-cleaned it. There is one thing I do want to do. I told y'all that I want to um, let some of this wood kind of peekaboo out. And so that I am not sanding it like crazy, I am going to sand it a little bit to distress it. But I'm going to put a little bit of beeswax. Um, this is from Sweet Pickens. We have started carrying some of Sweet Pickens paint and also some of their waxes and uh, wax, oil waxes. And I love it. All I can say is I love it. So I'm just going to like put this in a couple spots that I would want the paint to just naturally come off. And what you do is you can just paint over it and leave it alone. And then we'll do a second coat. It always usually takes two coats. It's very rare that it doesn't take two. And then when I go back to do my sanding, wherever I put that wax, the natural wood is going to pop through and I don't have to like keep scrubbing really hard to get it off. So what I'm going to do right here is just kind of put it in some select places. 
I always like to put it kind of on my edges. And I'm just going to do it here and there where it would naturally wear. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. I'm kind of getting where I see worn spots at because that would be the natural place that it would wear. Get some down here. And I may not be putting enough, but we'll see. Really want this to keep looking old and like it was painted a long time ago. All right, and plus, y'all, this beeswax it smells so good, and y'all can kind of see inside this cabinet now it's really dry. So I am probably going to use this. I'll use a brush, but I'm probably going to use it to condition all the wood in there just to give it a new life. Um, you can see that, and plus it smells good, so it'll take that old musky smell out as well. It kind of smells lemony. It smells good. I love it. It's got a lemon scent to it, for sure. Okay, so we're going to get started. I'm going to just start on this corner right here. If y'all have any questions or anything, just let me know. Um, and I'm just going to talk to you as I go. So the only prep you have to do with this piece, make sure you don't have any loose paint or any, like, pieces of wood that's poking out. If you do, just sand it those spots uh, to make sure there is no loose. Um, it's only going to stick if the stuff that's on the piece is sticking as well. So make sure you do that. And you just need to clean it really good. Now, if I was using a light color, this is dark, so I'm not worried about it, but like a white or creamy color, this dark finish may would bleed through. I have a feeling this might be like mahogany or something like that. I'm not totally sure it could be cherry, but um, it tends, these darker woods tends to bleed. And what you would want to do is do some kind of shellac or a top coat on top of it and then paint it just to keep that from bleeding. And I have painted before and if I see that yellow or red come through, I'll hit those spots with my shellac and then paint that over it. It's a simple fix. So don't, don't let it like scare you. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Y'all see that? It's going to be so pretty. I already love it. Again, I'm using the color indigo. Um, I feel like this is kind of a masculine chest. It has a small round mirror that goes on the top of this. And it kind of, to me, it leans. It just, it looks like something that they would use to shade. I just feel like that's what... I actually bought this piece thinking that I would turn it into a vanity for a bathroom, but the bathroom that I need it for, this is too big. So it's going to, I think this might be a tough one for me to, to sell, but it is here y'all. It will be for sale when I get done. I might change my mind after I get done, <laughs> but it's, I've, it's going to be beautiful. I can already tell I love it. And y'all can see this is really smooth. It's going on really fast. Farmhouse Paint has the grip brush. I'm using a different kind of brush today. Um, and it's it's become one of my favorites. Sorry, Farmhouse Paint, but um, the reason it's my favorite, I forget what it's called. <laughs> But it's on my website but um when i get done painting i can just sit this in a cup of water overnight and the paint literally just falls off of it and so it's very very it's expensive but it's worth it because um i just love it and the paint goes on really really smooth with it really smooth i have these little things to raise this off the ground and i can't find them i don't Every time I get anything, I lose it. I'm trying to not let the paint build up on these edges so that um, I don't have like 
running paint down the piece right off the bat. And I always just kind of get down the edges. Let's see if there's anybody else watching. I don't I don't think anybody is. You guys are probably resting like everybody should be doing on Sunday. This is a uh, very dreary, rainy day here in Hudson, North Carolina. And it's kind of cold. A little cold. And the heat just keeps turning on and off like crazy. Look how quick that is. And I need to quit touching it. Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone and go to the next spot. It's drying pretty quick. I know some people usually only paint the little front rail, the front of it, but um, I always kind of paint to that edge just because if, if for some reason you can see where that drawer comes out, it just looks neater to me, so that's why I do that. And farmhouse paint is it's a water-based furniture cabinet paint, um, easy cleanup, low VOCs. You do not have to pre-sand your piece. And it's just fabulous, y'all. I've been using it for over seven years, and it's my favorite paint. It's I did start, I have Sweet Pickens, which is a milk paint. I do like that. It's a totally different application for Sweet Pickens. It's for that, um, if you like stuff to be like um, that flaky finish, like crusty, rusty, flaky, Sweet Pickens is what you want to use. And they have lots of beautiful colors. And what I really like about it is that it comes in a powder form and you just mix water with it when you're ready to use it. And I really like that because I feel like paint is so expensive because it's liquid, it's very heavy. So shipping is tough. Also, as soon as it's liquid, it starts aging, right? As soon as you open your can, it starts drying up. So I like that the Sweet Pickens is dry and you just mix, you can mix what little bit you think you need with water and not waste all your paint and it won't all dry up. So I'm just rubbing my finger across here just to make sure I have a smooth line. I think that's gonna be gorgeous. What do you think, Tammy? Kelly, did you say that it's good for cabinets? It is great for cabinets, yes. Um, I have painted my dad's cabinets. I've painted um, my daughter's kitchen cabinets, vanities. It's, it's great for kitchen cabinets. Now, if you like a solid finish, Kelly, the new Evolution paint is a little more expensive, but it is more durable. It's hard to believe that because I, farmhouse paint is pretty durable, but it's supposed to be scratch resistant and it's also like weather resistant. Farmhouse paint is to some degree, but not as, it's not as hardcore as the Evolution from farmhouse. But yes, I have used this in many kitchen applications. Um, a, one of my best friends painted her kitchen cabinets and she too toned it. She did the cream and the uh, black nor, not cream, but white ash and absolutely beautiful. And I think it's been like three years and she said it's holding up very well, very well. It typically takes two coats um, to cover, but this is great coverage. My second coat is going to be very sparing and it's not going to be, it's going to go on really fast and it's not going to be much at all. I'm not seeing any, any indication that I even need a second coat, but I'll probably do it anyway, just to make it even tougher. Hey, Renee. Oh, Renee Curly. Hey girl, how are you doing? see my cabinets are old builder gray but i'm not going to replace them right now painting is the best option yes so there is lots of options this stuff will paint plastic laminate wood 
metal, glass, it will, it will go on anything. As long as it's clean, it will do it. And, and honestly, Kelly, like the builder grade, once you paint them, they're going to look so good. You just won't believe the transformation. Um, I had a friend, I think I showed a little video last year. It's family. It's from my husband's side, but she painted her kitchen and I think it's, it's the water, watercress or something. Anyway, it's a real pretty blue. And she did the two tones. She did print. She did, um, it wasn't white ash. I think it was, um, it was, it was a creamy white. I can't remember which one it was. She did that on the top and she did a real pretty blue on the bottom. And oh my gosh, it is amazing. And, and hers were really old. Like her house was built probably in the 60s or maybe even the 50s and they were with the just the flat fronts and she really wanted like that um what do they call it uh it's uh what do they call it when it's just a little square trim ah i forget what it was but anyway i told her about you can get pieces of trim it's just lattice and she made it in in any way her husband's pretty handy and he did all the door fronts and door fronts just did a simple trim around them and it looks like they're they're craftsman style they're kind of like a craftsman style house um what you see like doors that are simple trim and then the cabinet doors are simple anyway it looked amazing and they were just really dark old old you just got to make sure you get those things super clean I suggest using TSP to clean them with, and I would do it twice and then clean it with Dawn detergent after that, just to make sure that all of that is off. And then you're good to go. You don't have to rough them up or anything like that. And then the, you'll probably need two coats. And then when you get done with that, the two tones, my favorite too. I love to do a darker color on the bottom and a light at the top. It kind of makes your room not look so closed in. Because I love deep colors, but when you put it all the way up to the ceiling, it kind of closes in your space. So I love that two-tone effect. But um, I forget where I was at with that. But uh, Oh, so after you do two coats of your paint, I go back and do a 220 grit sanding. Just really light. It's really like you're polishing. You do it really light all over. If you want to distress them, you can. And then I go back with the damp rag and wipe it down and you're done. They're done. And it's, it's beautiful. So pretty. If y'all are just joining in, my name is Wendy Perry. I'm the owner of Cottage 321 Vintiques is where I'm at right now, but I also have a boutique in downtown Hudson, Hudson, that downtown Granite Falls. Ah, um, I see some drips and grab them real quick. Um, so what we're doing is we're painting, I, this is an antique. It really is. It was kind of in rough shape. And I think somebody put like, I don't know that old English or something over top of it. I feel like it's not, it wasn't a really good, it had drip marks on the drawers and stuff and, but they stained it really, really dark. I have, I have like stripped some of the drawers. They're going to be this color. And this is part of the mirror that's going to go up. And I just think it's going to be beautiful with that. All right, let me, I'm going to try to slide this around without tearing up everything. TSP to clean before painting. Yes, TSP before painting. And I suggest you do that anytime you're going to paint something, clean it with TSP. And if your piece, I'm dripping paint, I felt it. Um, if your piece uh, has a little bit of mold or uh, you know, you see some spots on it that you think is mold. If you put just a little bit of Clorox in that, it kills that mold as well. So TSP and Clorox together really cleans it good. But you got to make sure that you, um, after you do that, that you take Dawn detergent and water and wipe it down one more time just to neutralize it, neutralize that. Okay, I'm going to try to turn this cabinet so I don't have to move the camera. Oh, hey, Karen. How, thank you so much. Yay. There's some people watching. Okay. What brand of paint is this? So this is farmhouse paint. I carry it. Um, and I do ship anywhere. I'm trying to hide my face. 
I ship anywhere within the United States. Farmhouse paint does ship, but it's very expensive. I am cheaper. So if you're going to order it, order it. And if you have um, a stockist that's near you, I suggest you go to them. Support your local person. But if you don't have one, um, you definitely can order from me. Um, I have lots of videos on different stuff that I've painted on YouTube and here on Facebook. Um, if you if you're watching me on my personal page, make sure you go and like C321 Vintiques um, and also C321 Boutique. Those are my two stores. But Vintiques is where we have all the furniture, home decor, and stuff like that. And I know I'm rambling, but we are also, the store right now, we are taking in consignment furniture, uh, everyday home decor in spring. If you have anything that you would like to cycle out so you can get something new, Bring it to us you'll earn a little bit of money and you can buy you some more stuff and and we have fabulous stuff here too it's kind of fun i think most of the vendors buy from each other we're swapping our stuff but it's so fun we have the best time all right i'm going to turn this piece real quick and hopefully i don't get paint all over me or tear anything up actually i might i think i might paint the top i'm going to raise this up and y'all can watch me paint the top Oh, it's so hard to get up. I'm getting so old, y'all. Let me lift up the camera a little bit. I'm so glad y'all are watching. I was afraid nobody would be here talking to me. Y'all see that okay? I need to raise it a little bit more, I think. Just a little bit. This top looks really rough. I know. Turn this so I can see it. Try to go from this side. Yeah, y'all can't see me. So the top is it looks rough, but I sanded it yesterday, and the reason I actually scraped it because it had like some some high spots on it, and I also sanded it. I think I just got paint on my shirt, but everything I own has paint on it. But anyway, I'm gonna paint the top and then we'll go to that side. I might turn this toward y'all. I'm in a tight spot. Actually, I'll just move the camera when we get done painting this top. But y'all can see this. You just can't see my head. <laughs> Lift it up just a little bit more. Clean it down. Make sure it'll keep my paint. All right, let's see. Is there any other questions? I'm taking notes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Thanks, Renee. I hope you guys are doing good. You're having a good year so far. Can't believe January is almost over. We've got like one week left, right? So I'm just going to paint this top. I'm going to just wipe it, make sure I don't have dust. I already washed it. I washed it yesterday. But I'm just going to go ahead. Every once in a while, I'll look down and look at your questions. But I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Now, I do try to go with the grain of the wood. And I try to keep even strokes. So, I go all the way down. And then I try to do one stroke back. got great coverage y'all can see it's really covering good i'll probably put a second coat on here but honestly i probably wouldn't have to since i'm wanting it to be distressed but i'll probably do it anyway just for the durability of it i don't want my butt in front of y'all <laughs> see if anybody else say anything y'all can see this goes really fast and the only like disclaimer i ever tell anyone that buys paint and decides to paint once you paint a piece and you see how easy it is you're going to paint everything in your house and your husband's going to be mad at you because <laughs> he's like what are you doing today and you're like i'm painting my kitchen cabinets 
So just leave me alone. It's simple, it's easy, it completely updates old furniture, dated furniture, it makes it look new and fresh again. Makes it look like it's up to date. Or even if you like the old look like me, it just gives it that extra little bump. a little hair in there. It was probably mine. A little gray hair. This color, because it's so dark, I don't know if y'all can see that, because it's dark, it just covers really good. Very nicely. Did y'all see how quick I did that top? Wasn't that easy? That was so easy. Is that easy. Um, I'm going to slide my finger across right here because that is where it wants to drip and you will get drip marks. So I always do that. I'm going to try to turn this or either I'm going to take the camera over there. Let me figure out how I'm going to do this. Let's set this down. I need my camera to be on wheels. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, definitely right there it's dripping I actually can paint with my finger I got enough on there that I can just paint that edge don't be scared to get on your hands it washes off it does take a long time to wash off but it does wash off this side is good okay I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do this Not making a big old mess. I really need to move the camera and not the piece. So, all right, give me just a second, guys or ladies. <laughs> I'm trying to scoot this all around. Maybe this goes here. I'm trying to keep my laptop so I can talk to y'all because it's fun. I'm going to move. It's going to be just a little herky-jerky for a second. Oops, let me unplug it for just a second, too. All right, I'm going to turn it over around here. Yeah, that'll work. Point you down just a little bit. There we go. I think that'll work. Is that going to make y'all cross-eyed? <laughs> Is that okay? I think we're just going to paint this side and then I might show y'all some more pieces that we just finished up this week. I'm going to try to get some light over there so it's not so dark. It's probably the best I'm going to be able to do. Okay. Get my paint. Come over there. Thank y'all for hanging out with me. This is fun. So much fun. Okay. So, see some little drips right here. So, I'm just trying to smooth them out before they dry because Paul's farmhouse paint is so tough. If you don't get those drips, they're almost impossible. They're almost impossible. I need to turn you just a little bit more, I think. They're almost impossible to sand out. <laughs> so, Alright, that's good. I've seen people paint wood floors. Would this paint be good for that? Um, I'm just going to be honest with you, Kelly. You could, but this stuff's too expensive to paint your floor with. I'm just going to be honest. Um, like this floor in here is over 1,500 square feet. It would, it, it would be, I just think it would be too expensive. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> um, you can paint floors, but they have porch paint and it works great and it's very durable and they have it like this paint in here is porch paint from Lowe's and I shouldn't be toting them at all but it's it's, it's a latex base and it has held up pretty dang good and it's supposed to be weather resistant because it's supposed to be on your porch but I used it inside and um, 
you're going to get more bang for your buck. A, a gallon of farmhouse paint is like $120. So no, don't do that. I think you can probably get porch paint. It's probably a lot higher. I think when I bought this, it was like $30 a gallon. I'm sure it's probably 40 or 50 now, but you could get three, at least two gallons to what you could um, in porch paint. And so anyway, I'm just being honest with you. I wouldn't paint this on walls unless I have used it on trim, uh, like trim that was painted in an oil base. You know how you have to do all that craziness and sand, you either have to sand it or you have to put some kind of oil primer on it. Well, with farmhouse paint, you wouldn't have to do that. So my daughter has a little mill house. It's really, really old. It's probably a hundred years old. And um, all her trim was oil based. So I used farmhouse paint to paint her trim. And I could, I did her whole house with one quart and a quart's only $32. So that's cost efficient. But to do like a big, big, crazy area, don't do it. Now, kitchen cabinets, it sounds like it's expensive, but it goes so far that it's not. And that's a better option for kitchen cabinets and things like that. My daughter had her same house. I painted her cabinets. It was a really little kitchen, but it was probably like her top cabinets were maybe eight feet long and her bottom cabinets were eight feet long. And I did it with less than a quart of farmhouse paint. So you just have to pick and choose the things that you want to do with it. But um, anyway, I saw little things on here. So I'm just trying to knock off any dust that may have gotten on it. But I did clean it yesterday, but sometimes the dust likes to come back. So let's go ahead and paint this. Um, any other questions? I love that y'all are asking me questions. That's so fun. So if you are new here, if you're watching me on my own personal page, please go follow my um, store. This is C321 Mintiques, and then we also have C321 Boutique. It's all fashion, but the Vintiques is all about furniture, painting stuff. Uh, we have handmade signs, home decor, you name it, we've got it. We are accepting consignment items right now for every day in spring, and we're taking furniture as well by appointment. So we got some awesome stuff in y'all. I, I just love furniture so much. Whenever we get new pieces in, I get so excited. And the funnest part about it is decorating it. It's like setting up your little vignette and decorating it. That's the funnest thing ever. So anyway, we've gotten some really great pieces in here recently. And we like to mix it. We're not all antique. We actually, this may be like the only antique in here right now. But we have mid-century modern. We have modern. We just got a really cool kind of contemporary modern piece in this weekend. And then, um, then we got the vintage and the, you know, every kind of style, farmhouse, whatever style you like. We kind of mix it all together. That's how I do my house. If I like it, I get it and I just make it work. I'm not stuck to one thing. If I like it, I'm going to make it work. <laughs> Finally, the heat turned off. It was so loud. Isn't this color pretty? This is indigo. It's it's a dark gray, but it pulls blue. I feel like this chest is kind of masculine, so I wanted to keep it more masculine. And I, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. I'm about over white paint. Or not white paint in general, but white furniture. I like color. And I'm really into mixing the color with stained wood or the raw wood and that's what we're going to do with this piece is we're going to mix the raw furniture the raw wood with the painted so i can tell the side is definitely going to need another coat it looks like i need to fill in a few little holes with some putty which is easy i can do that after it dries
and sometimes like these cracks i don't know if y'all can see them but i can see some cracks in between here um, after this dries i will probably go back with some caulk and i'll hit those to smooth it out and um my second coat paint over that and it'll look so good it'll look very professional caulk is your friend little hair right there get that off and we get this bottom see what time is it oh <laughs> i think it's already been an hour i didn't realize it had been that long thank you all so much for joining me today so this is the next project um i think i will be dropping a youtube video of my last project if you guys um you may have seen my little reel or TikTok or whatever of the last project i did um, i've got a whole little video shows you from beginning to end of it it's a real pretty mission style desk and i used evolution paint on it so all right i think that's it i was going to show y'all the other piece but i tell you what i'm going to try to go home real quick tonight and i took a final picture and final video of the finished product with it all decked out with merchandise and i want to add that to that video and i'm going to try to upload it tonight so y'all have to catch it there um next, this coming up week if i have time if i get a chance i have got big plans for the drawers and if y'all joined in late you may not have seen the drawers i used i don't know if y'all have seen any of the videos where people are stripping furniture with easy off so i tried it out on just the drawers and it has a mirror for the top of this and i stripped it and it the wood looks beautiful so i have some plans there's a decor transfer that i'm thinking about putting on the raw wood of the drawers and if i decide to do that i'll do a live video showing you how to do that as well but anyway that's it for tonight <laughs> see if anybody said anything else thank y'all so much for joining me i really appreciate it if you really want to help out a small business comment on our stuff <laughs> also if you give us a thumbs up a like no matter where you're at facebook or youtube with either other place and comment and then um, make sure you're following us and if you are on youtube subscribe to my channel i'm finally past the thousand mark but i don't have enough watch hour yet to get monetized and I'm, I'm i don't know why but i just have a goal of doing that i don't know why it just helps to have a goal sometimes right it's just something i want to accomplish so that's what i'm trying to do but um anyway this will be a video down the road as well i'll show you from the very beginning to the very end and all decked out in its glory at the very end in one whole video and so this week just uh i'll let you know like in advance if you know if it's going to happen but i'm hoping i can get it done but tonight i'm going to try to load if i don't get it loaded tonight it'll be in the morning but i think i can get it done because all i need is this last little piece but thank you all again so much i appreciate you from the bottom of my heart thank you hope you all have a blessed sunday and i'll see you next time bye y'all